well full of fox in the league of it by you know for Jesus. Yeah, so Rick Ross dropped his ninth album though. And when I heard it off bat, the production was already there. You already know with a Ross album, you're going to get that good production. But at the same time, you know, you still get the typical Ross. You know, I feel like this album was very underrated, very unappreciated. You know what I mean? I actually enjoy all of it except the middle tracks, like track six, seven. You know, I think those were the tracks I really wasn't fucking with. Uh, Maybach Music 5, I do like it. Don't know why you put Dage Loaf on and no shade to her just because that's your daughter's daughter favorite artist. I thought that was like, damn, out of the whole series, this like is lackluster. You know what I mean? Um, Scientology was a good one. I definitely fuck with that. But these are my f- top five right here, songs that I fuck with off the whole project that I keep going back to. Um, he started off the album with Apple in My Eye. Nigga told me not to trust Nicki. I don't believe that nigga said that fucking crazy ass shit. How you gonna tell a nigga? Don't ask. It kind of sound like some hating shit. Like a nigga, your nigga don't believe in your relationship, bro. Like, come on, man. What kind of shit is that? But anyway, Centurion, Centurini Greece. That production was crazy. The way it just start off, I was like, damn, this nigga Ross definitely fuck with that. Talked about the Birdman track. We already know about that. Idols become rivals. He hinted to it, I think, sometime last year. I was like, man, I don't know, because I feel like this. It ain't like nothing we didn't know about Birdman, so why was everybody so hyped about it? I wanted to hear the record, and I heard it when it dropped, but I was like, all right, but what did he say besides the Khaled shit? But he basically said shit that we already know. So I was like, so this is going to be a promotion for his album. So basically, if he didn't talk about this song, didn't leak the song or drop it, we get the album. It would have had some shock value. But then it's like, come on. We seen this shit with J. Cole did the little record. Then the album come out. We seen it with Ross now. You know what I mean? Drake kind of did it. Kendrick did it now. It's like, ah, uh, come on, man. You know what I mean? Still was a good record, though, but I just feel like, man, get the fuck out of here, Ross, with that shit. You know what I mean? It wasn't nothing new. At least with Wayne did it on Sorry for the Wait too. we got some new shit a little bit. You know what I mean? But other than that, Nas' feature was good. Didn't fuck with the Chris Rock skits because I was like, didn't they have problems not too long ago? You know what I mean? I do believe that they had some type of issue a while back, but I could be tripping. Um, Triple Platinum was dope. I was like, wow. That beat, that was crazy. But like I said, all the instrumentation on this shit was pretty good. I feel like even Summer 17 was like, nigga, Drake did that and you want to do it. Like, come on, bro. Like, that shit crazy. You know what I mean? Do I think this is better than uh, his last joint, Black Market? Um, Production-wise, yeah. And I think this one had... A lot more records that I enjoy more, but it definitely make the top five Ross albums. You know what I mean? It ain't fucking with Teflon Don, Goth Kids I Don't, Deeper Than Rap, but it's definitely, you could put it in the top five. You know what I mean? Because I feel like Mastermind and Hood Billionaire was just some fillers. Even though people seem to say they fuck with Mastermind like that, but it's like, nah, I still remember that trailer he dropped for that shit. And if you hear that music, you find that trailer, the original trailer, and you hear that music that was about to post to be on that album, yo, I don't know if the producers didn't sample the right records right, but from the sound of that goddamn trailer, I was like, Mastermind about to be a problem. But we know how when you're trying to get sampling cleared, shit happen with clearances, it don't work out, and you can't use that beat. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, Mastermind was cool, but... It just wasn't really what I thought it was going to be. But um, Rather Me Than You or Rather You Than Me, lazy ass title. Like, what the fuck is up with these niggas with these album titles? That they be so fucking lazy. I'm like, all right, what the fuck, Ross? It was first Mastermind and Hood being there, Black Market. Now this joint is like, nigga, y'all niggas ain't thinking no more. His next album go drop sometime this year. Port of Miami 2. Really? The 10th anniversary was last year, nigga. You like a year late. But overall, man, this album was solid. I gave it a 7 out of 10. I felt like it was dope. Did 100,000, you know what I mean, first week. I think that ain't bad. I actually bought the album. I still ain't did the unboxing for that shit and a couple more albums. I don't know. I just don't be feeling like CD openings is even worth it. But if y'all want to see that shit, if y'all ain't seen it, leave it in the comment section. I'll do a, a CD opening probably sometime this week. My J's supposed to be in this week, so I'll probably do it the same day as there. You know what I mean? Uh same day as I get them. But yeah, man, I fuck with these five records. Game ain't based on sympathy was pretty dope. 
it really ain't shit. Life ain't even based on sorrow. Just that sample right there. I was like, damn, this nigga Ross is crazy. You know what I mean? A lot of these flows is dope. I'm like, yo, kind of, in my opinion, he didn't even need no features. But that's just what I think. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it. You know what I mean? What's y'all top five songs off Rather You Than Me? I know I'm a little late with this shit, but at the end of the day, I do shit on my own time. Um, So, yeah, I'll holler at y'all. Thanks for listening. One.